Hello! In this video podcast, I want to talk about the Polydron Prism Starter Set. It's slightly larger than the Pyramid Set that I talked about last time. With this set, you can build eight individual prisms at the same time. So let's now take a look at them. Here are the different Polydron shapes that are included in the Prism Set. Small equilateral triangle, square, rectangle, rhombus, pentagon, and hexagon. I want to start off by showing you three prisms with triangular bases. This is the first one. I'm going to use two small equilateral triangles for the bases and three rectangles for the sides. I do want to remind you, when you create the net, be sure that the words that are in a circular pattern appear face up. That way, when you fold it up, you get a nice, clean prism. This is what it's going to look like when it's folded. I'm going to use two right triangles for the bases of this prism. The sides will have two squares and a rectangle. This is what it's going to look like. Isosceles triangles are being used for this prism. The sides have one square and two rectangles. This is what the final prism will look like. There are many different ways to create the net for a cube. This is just one example. When you fold it up, you're going to get this. And of course, each side is a square. This square base prism has rectangles for the sides. This is what it's going to look like. You can also consider this a rectangular base prism or a cuboid. I'll be using the rhombus piece for each base to create the next prism. And it looks something like this. By the way, this is one of the few sets that actually includes the rhombus piece. A pentagonal base prism is very easy to create. Just use two pentagons and five rectangles, put them together, and you get this. Using two hexagons and six rectangles, will make a hexagonal based prism. So with the prism set, you can create these eight individual prisms at the same time. However, you can make a few others, and I'll show you how to do that next. I won't be showing you any nets for these prisms since half the fun is putting them together. Here I have an isosceles trapezoid that was created by using an equilateral triangle and a rhombus. The sides of the prism are all squares. Here's a prism that has a base in the shape of a right trapezoid. I use a square and a right triangle to do this, and I have rectangles and squares for the sides. Here's a prism with a base that has the shape of a kite. I'm using a small equilateral triangle and an isosceles triangle to do this. The sides are squares and rectangles. Here's an example of a prism that has an irregular quadrilateral for the base. I'm using an isosceles triangle and a right triangle to do this, plus three rectangles and a square for the sides. You can change the height of most of the prisms presented in this video by using either a combination of squares or squares and rectangles. For example, 
I can double the height of my hexagonal prism and it would look something like this.